This is the stunning Grand Opera House in Wilmington, Delaware. Let me take you for a little trip through my Fab Faux gear and my floor scene. All right. Down here you see the very necessary maracas and bullhorn combination. And next to that is the sustain and volume pedals that control this lovely, beautiful M-Audio keyboard, which triggers the sounds in main stage with all those groovy program textures for the Beatles songs uh, when I'm not playing bass or guitar. And over here, you'll see there's a fan for keeping cool and double wedges help to, helping to move a lot of air, even though I'm using in-ear monitors. Here is the blue turn, page turner, if I had my iPad up here, which I don't need for this show. You've got the very oh-so-necessary water bottle holders velcroed to the rug so they don't tip over. Super handy. And in between those is my lovely Boss GT-10B multi-effects pedal board, which has been programmed to perfection to contain all the great sounds necessary to replicate all those Beatle records. This is a switcher box for all these groovy bases over here, and then some. And of course, the most important piece of gear is the all-important pick sleeve connected to the mic stand. The only thing missing is, is you, you the audience. Anyway, oh, so we didn't talk about the amp. Uh, it's my phony, but aesthetically pleasing faux vox built by genius Greg Hopkins. And thank you, Greg. It's powered by, it's powered by what? Oops, really? Not, it's not a real vox? Oh, no, but it sounds magnifico. And there's my gear for Fab Faux.